Hey, what's up everyone? Going to do another video review today. So we are going to be doing Punishers Season 1 and Season 2 on DVD. There is a disclaimer before I do this that these are bootlegs, 100% certified, as Netflix nor Disney decided to make a DVD or Blu-ray version. I paid $52 Canadian on Amazon.ca. So let's get into it. It's not going to be an unboxing because I wanted to actually view the DVDs before I did this to see what the quality was. And actually the quality for both of them is very good DVD quality. The menus easy to use. The quality is DVD maybe a little bit better. I have no complaints. So let's get these slip covers out of the way. So we're going to start with Punisher Season 1. Try to get that spine a little bit better. So as you can see right away on the back side, that is Thomas Jane. And he was actually the Punisher in 2003, I do believe. Which was the movie version, which has nothing to do with any of this. But we will see some screenshots from the actual TV series. Custer, I don't even, it's Frank Castle, but nice try. So as we see here, 16 by 9, English 2.0, Dolby Digital. We got some Spanish subtitles and 10 hours, 50 minutes runtime. So our disc one. And our disc two. So it looks like they're all going to be the same. And as you notice... Lionsgate, that's actually who used to produce the Punisher, but not anymore, after Disney got the rights back. So that was actually the real Punisher in the TV series. So don't be thrown off by the back label, it has nothing to do with that. Let's touch on Season 2 discs. So that's a neat little image on the spine. So let's compare them side to side since I've already forgotten. Quick read by some Screen images. That's our main bad guy from season one. No spoilers. So it's in 16 by 9 also. English 2.0. Spanish subtitles. So it's pretty much the same as the other one. Uh, Runtime 11 hours, 29 minutes. These discs, however, have different imaging. Again, still labeled from Lionsgate. So, I mean, for bootleg copies, they tried to get some of their information together, but clearly a little bit of it was wrong. But like I said, we're not going based upon the labeling or anything. We're going based upon the quality. And if you like hard copy stuff like I do, versus Netflix buffering. So overall, I'd have to say that... Uh, I mean, $52, I don't like spending money because I'm really frugal, a.k.a. cheap. But uh, if you want the hard copy, this is pretty much the only way you can do it. So I would say value-wise, for what the quality was, I, I'd give it a thumb and a half up. Just because of some of the inaccuracies on the, the discs, however, that didn't affect my viewing at all whatsoever. But uh, yeah. If you really need these on hard copy, I think you should look at Amazon or eBay or whatever to pick them up and uh, help finish getting your Marvel Cinematic Universe collection together. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll catch you next video.